watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you and um, and also let's look ahead to 2018 which is going to be another powerful year. I feel very very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening as we know are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very, very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels. And if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading, then, you know, just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding. And for you, it might be that you, you've changed at home or you've changed your, changed your job or you, relationships around you are changing, family circumstances are changing, things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way. And, um, and you're wondering why, why things are changing. And maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers. Maybe things just seem very smooth for you, but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic. Anyway, this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune, so where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook live as well soon long promised and I'll leave a link under the video as well and that's it I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis so it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign so I think that's everything have a fantastic year and if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share um, ideas and... and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace, and I'll speak to some of you soon. Hi Scorpio and welcome to your 2018 year ahead video. 
and hope you have a fantastic 2018. I know 2017 was full of ups and downs and surprises, um, but hopefully, well, actually 2018 is looking a lot better. So for you, 20, the last few years you've had Saturn in your second house, which has been teaching you a lot about how to value yourself. That's the area in which you've really been growing up the most, really been maturing in terms of not taking less than you deserve, not putting up with less than you deserve, and not being less than you deserve to be. And it's taken a few years and you've had to do some cutting away, a lot of cutting away of things, people, situations, to get you, you know, along your journey. But you're here now. You're here with a great deal of self-awareness concerning what it is you really deserve to receive and how to start asking for it. So that's fantastic. Congratulations on that. And what you're moving into next, now that Saturn's moving into your third house, is how to hone your communication. That's gonna be your big learning. That's gonna be the area that Saturn's asking you to grow in. So you're gonna be looking at things like social media. You're gonna be looking at how you connect with your uh, community, your immediate community, even your siblings, cousins, your family, you know, to some extent, the whole of your family. You're gonna be looking at how you express yourself, how you express your feelings. You might even be, um, you might even begin writing things down. You might actually start working on how you express yourself in writing as well. So these are all things that are gonna be learning tools for you in the future over the next two and a half to three years. There are gonna be ways that you can see quite clearly where you haven't been making yourself understood in the past. And you will, over the course of the next two and a half to three years, begin to see those things in a way, in, in their full light, in a way that you're suddenly able to transform them. So you're gonna be a completely different kind of communicator by the end of, you know, in the next, over the next few years, you're gonna be developing, growing and changing and evolving. It would be, in a sense, like feeling your whole life, you know, or your whole career, um, that you, you're better working with people one-to-one, -one, or that you're better working, you know, in a friendship situation with just one person, and suddenly finding that actually you want to start giving talks, or that you quite like being around groups of people again, or something like that, you prefer that. It's that sort of thing. It might, you might find also that you've been, um, you've been looking at writing and suddenly you want to start recording, making videos or you know, um, broadcasting your messages in a different way. So it's all of those things, it's all communications and media and connecting in your, uh, your community and short travel and how you think. Are you thinking in a way that's positive? Are you thinking in a way that helps you to move ahead? So having been through um, learning how to value yourself, you now have a better awareness of how to think in order to get the best result as well. Because you've had to change your thinking recently. You've had to change how you think about yourself. And because you've done that, you now have access to thinking more positively in an ongoing sense on a, you know, a trajectory that keeps you thinking increasingly more positively. And so you're able to increasingly create more and more value for yourself in the future. I hope that makes sense. That's the best way I can explain it. So you've just had Jupiter moving from your 12th house it's into your first house. So you've been working on something behind the scenes possibly honing it, developing it. it. It's the sort of transit that works well for writing. So if you've already been looking at writing, this could be the year when you start to actually put things out into the world. And again, you're gonna be still learning about balancing and measuring your communication, but don't do it to the extent that you allow that to restrict you. Don't get, don't start 
you know it's good it's been a good transit the last year or so for editing things don't get stuck in the editing phase don't get stuck in the rehearsal room you know go out into the world and take what you've learnt out into the world with you so it's quite possible that you've actually seen your finances get a boost at the end of this Saturn transit as well because it's been teaching and teaching and teaching you about how to value yourself and you need to take all of that learning as well into the future. Don't slip back into old ways. Keep moving forward. And if it hasn't happened yet, you still have that to come. So, I'm just going to shuffle some angel cards now and see what, uh, what do you need to know about the coming year? What do you need to focus on most? And I'm going to look at the beginning, the middle and the end of 2018 um, using the angel cards. Uh, the Archangel Oracle cards, which is still one of my favourite decks. And then I'm going to pull a couple of other cards. So we've got the beginning, the middle, and towards the end of 2018. So, and this is just a, a rough guide. I'm not going month by month, um, but I will probably do something a bit more um, detailed in personal readings. Okay, but this is um, the beginning. Spread your wings. So there's some kind of opportunity that's coming for you at the beginning of the year. It could even be around now, or the possibility is around now, or you're thinking about it, or you've applied for something and you're waiting to hear. It's something that's kind of hovering, if you like. And it's about, you're getting to the point where you need to make a decision. And if this hasn't come in yet, you're looking at January, February, March, even possibly April. For something coming in that's going to give you an opportunity to really branch out a bit more. Um, possibly something overseas, possibly something in another town, or possibly just something outside of what you're used to doing or being comfortable with. Again, there's that idea that, you know, you could have been working one-to-one -one and now you could be reaching out to work with groups or something. It looks like a step up the way that I'm seeing because my guides are showing me a staircase. It looks like you've been stepping carefully and suddenly you take what looks like two steps at once. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for something in the first part of the year that you might be surprised that you actually do get to do it. Um, but it's something that you make happen. It's not something that just comes along out of the blue. It's something that you've been thinking about already and you you know, will get a good result um, if you go forward if you pursue it if you stop holding back don't you know it's a bit like what i said at the beginning about uh, stop editing yourself say what you feel speak your truth don't hold back don't let com a lack of confidence hold you back okay the middle of the year gentleness be gentle with yourself and the message says be very gentle with yourself at this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environments so I would say that whatever these new opportunities are that are coming, make sure that they work for you in terms of who you are, who you've become, you, you know, recognising your sensitivities and honouring them and not pushing yourself um, too fast, too far, too fast. Um, and when you are making those big leaps, which you will do this year, there will be big leaps for you to make. Just really nurture yourself, be loving with yourself, be gentle with yourself and trust that there is a way for you to do what you need to do in an environment that supports you and makes you feel good and feel happy. You will have learnt this over the past few years with switching situations around to increase your value to you know through respecting yourself and moving only towards people and situations that make you feel good you'll have learned all this but you might find it gets tested again always choose the gentle path choose the self-loving path the path that serves you the best in that sense okay and then moving in towards the end of the year if you're very gentle with yourself you will be coming into a life review so it's as if you get this upgrade you have this opportunity and whether or not you take this opportunity you're still heading towards another re-evaluation towards the end of the year so if you do take this opportunity it could be that it leaves you wanting even more 
but it it fulfills you but this it's like but there's more there's still more it's not the whole picture it's not there's more for me to do and if you don't take it then your review will be about why don't i take these opportunities when they come i feel that you will i feel that you will take it but you're going to just be constantly moving through more and more upgrades throughout the year of seeing yourself differently valuing yourself more asking yourself well i wonder what would happen if i asked for this you know, you. I feel as if, for some of you, you're fascinated by what actually has begun to happen through you valuing yourself more and fascinated to push the boat out a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. What would happen if I asked for this? What would happen if I tried that? Because you're beginning to realise that so much of life and of, of getting what you want has to do with self-belief and confidence. And it's so easy to say this, to write it, to read it, to think you understand it in your mind but you've experienced it now and you need to be building on that experience and moving ahead with confidence asking for what you want and you just could get it in fact I think you will <laughs> okay so let's have a quick look at what we've got in the tarot and I'm going to look very quickly at the past present and future and um, and how you can help what you've learnt to move you through any changes and any doubts and fears that you might have. Okay, so past, present, future. The past. You have gained a great deal of spiritual strength over the last year. In 2017, you had to make some tough choices, you had to you, you had some big tests, and through all of it, and some surprises and disappointments, through all of it you learnt how strong you really are and you've had an upgrade in terms of your spirituality, spiritual practices or in terms of just your conviction, your belief in what you're about, who you are, what you're here for and now you're experiencing the material harvest. Isn't it perfect when it works out with exactly what we've been saying? I don't know if you can see those cards. Yeah, I need to work on this camera thing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, material harvest. This is the um, the energy of the moment where you're actually, a lot of things are coming to fruition and you are understanding how you create your experience and how when you really value yourself and you really ask for what you want and you go out there and you believe in it, things can change. Okay, and don't let the past hold you back. Now, what you're moving to in the future, okay, right, so with this life review, it may be that you come to a place where you realise that in order, even though you've made great changes and great things have happened, there might still be a little bit of a way for you to go. There might be something that will have to change, something that will have to be sacrificed, something that will have to be let go of in order for you to come into your full expression of who you are. And, um, and so this could be the change that starts happening towards the end of the year that you realise that, well, actually, my vision is a lot bigger than I thought it was. And in order for me to really go for it, I'm going to have to let go of thinking about... Um, this way of life like life has to be like this it should be like this this and this this should happen you should live in this sort of place and you should do this and you should it should be nine to five or whatever you're gonna to have to sacrifice a particular way of thinking about life i'm not going to tell you what it is that's for you and your higher consciousness to know you're going to have to let go of a relationship or a, a particular work situation or um, just something yeah it might just be a way of thinking about things I'm not going to tell you that it's ending a relationship or a friendship or anything these are all down to your own individual um, feelings and impulses and karma you might already have a sense of what you might need to let go of and also you might not need to let go of it completely you might need to just walk away from it for a while in order to de develop and discover yourself further to the fullest extent and let's just see, what will you get then? What will be the reward from doing that? Right, okay. Wisdom, ultimately wisdom. You might feel a little bit bored and distracted. You might feel that you want to be on your own for a while. Um, but ultimately, you will receive a great deal of wisdom from moving ahead. And your 
emotional, you know, your emotional well-being, your material harvest may well depend on having this life review and deciding that you need to make these changes. But it's all very, very, very positive, Scorpio, and all of it is subject to your own personal choice. Because the wisdom that you will really gain out of all of this is how to trust yourself and your own inner voice, regardless of what anyone else tells you. Okay? All right, have a fantastic year. 2018 is going to be amazing for you. I think you're going to learn things about yourself and go places you never thought you'd go and it's going to be spectacular. Just keep trusting your own journey, your own path every day and have a good one. If you'd like to book a personal reading, I'm doing my personal year ahead readings at the moment. The link is below the video. Let me know and um, I will see what I can do for you. Okay, take care. Bye.